Hello everyone and peace of Christ. All of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. And if you are a Muslim, please join us. We welcome you and soon we will open Pal Talk if you like to call us. Before we start, you know, yesterday we mentioned uh, we will answer some comment and uh, one of you he said that he is shocked about what I said yesterday about the Dead Sea Scroll is uh, its fabrication. I, I did not mean all of it. I was speaking about some they are in the museum in USA. They found that those I think they are 19 out of 100,000. <clears> so out of 100,000 they found 19 to be a fabricate. But I'm saying what I was saying. If somebody can fool you to the point and you are supposedly let us say uh, a historic scientist you know you can study the fragment and so if somebody can fool us to the point we can put it in the museum for 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 all this time and nobody notice that's mean this is something to be aware of so i wasn't saying all of it is fabricated i was saying some all right <clears throat> now uh, we will see some muslim comments and i found always muslim comment is hilarious let us see the first one and soon we will start taking calls from Muslims about our topic. <clears throat> open challenge to Christian friends. Try to debate openly. My friend, this is open. Don't you see we are in YouTube? This is the most open place in the world. This is very open. So when Muhammad and he says, I challenge you to debate openly, I laugh. I mean, how open we can be more than this? Isn't it this is open? <clears throat> uh... Uh, I want you to debate face to face with Zakir Naik. My friend Zakir Naik, you don't even dare to say hello to me face to face, shoulder to shoulder, bum to bum. You Muslims, you run away. All of you, you do the same. Only me, you want to debate face to face. You are, you know, you are willing to debate anybody over the internet except me. Uh, how you dare or the videos in your channel? All are your voice, all your voices faked. My voices are fake. Oh, okay. If you dare to make a video face to face when you debate Zakir Naik, my friend Zakir Naik is not even a Muslim. Zakir Naik, he made fun of the Quran. He's, he, he's my best joke. Zakir Naik is the one who said the word Hur, go check the video. Word Hur does not mean male or female, it's both. So he is a stupid, and you can go and laugh at yourself. For if you consider Zakir Naik a scholar, he just, he just gave a big spank to your God. Even the verse, this, this stupid, even because you don't speak Arabic, even the verse says that they don't bleed. They don't bleed from sex. So how you say those are for male and female? Stupid. I mean, donkeys. So at least mention to me somebody is brave to dare to, to, to He didn't even de dare to debate David Wood. So how he would debate me? A person who don't even speak two Arabic words. Let us continue. Next. <clears throat> this one is potato. Next potato. Uh, God didn't Jesus pray to God like Moses didn't he bow kneeing? Didn't he raise his hand to pray to God uh, to raise the uh, uh, to raise the dead? So definitely did not pray like Trinity and cross is a cold, false doctrine uh, that is not from Jesus teaching from ex Christian from an ex Christian. What you are preaching is fake. And deceiving why don't you just preach Christianity mm -hmm. I mean here you see the pain of those who claim ex-Christians first of all you are an ex-Christian you are Muhammadan and his your father his name is Muhammad Ali but look what your pain you want me to preach Christianity but you just said it's fake I mean look he don't want me to speak about Islam shouldn't you just why don't you just preach Christianity well, you idiot, you just say the Christianity is false. So why you want me to preach it? The answer is very simple. What I say about your stupid cult is painful. And you think, I mean, the Muslim, they make fun of us 24 hours, seven days a week when we preach Christianity. They take us to jail. They beat us, they execute us. They 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 uh, they, they forbid our Bible. And now he's saying, uh, preach Christianity. Okay, I want to go to Saudi Arabia, preach Christianity. Can I do that? Can I go? Why you don't preach Christianity? Why you don't allow us? Because you are a coward. So you are desperate. You can because you see the the funny is all the video which we showed tons of stupid things about Muhammad, disgusting things, stupid things and disgusting things. This is it. You come. I mean, what is the comment about the topic about all the garbage we showed you in your Quran? 
they have nothing to say. Secondly, when you say Jesus, he pray, well, you know, we, we can solve it easy. Jesus prayed to the Father. But when Allah, he pray, he pray for, not to, as Mimi Hijab said. Allah, he pray to who? To his Father? The Son speaking to the Father. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. This is the Son. He called him the Father. Father. So didn't Jesus say the Father? Didn't he say he is a Son? So how come you quote only that Jesus, he prayed to his father? So my, my, my favorite Abduls, I love you all. You are my best entertainment. Your comment is silly and we laugh at it. And then look what he said. <clears throat> uh, As without hating other thank God for Islam, we pray direct to the heavenly father. Yeah? In Islam, you have heavenly father since when? Is that a new religion? In Islam, you have Heavenly Father. <laughs> By the way, I have a comment about the, uh, the chat yesterday. Uh, you know, I will give warning to people. When I speak to somebody, you don't talk to him. I talk to him only. Anyone who call me, you don't say things to him. You can say things to each other, but you don't talk to him. And this is including the admins. Nobody will talk to the person I'm talking to. Anyone will start saying his name in the chat. The admin should give him a, a time up warning. And then if he repeat it, we will block. It. Only me, I will speak to the person. Because your comment will take him away. Uh, you know, yesterday, the, 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 the guy almost, he, not, he left Islam, but almost he accepted Christ. But because of your comment, we lost the moment. So either you are here coming to support me or you are here coming to work against my mission. Which one is you? I will consider the one who tried to disturb, like to destroy, disturb the conversation between me and the person who is talking to me, a person who is a Muslim, he is upset that the person, he left Islam. <clears throat> Let us make it simple. The second, this, you know, first you don't speak to the person he calling me in a rude way. This is a conversation between me and him. Secondly, uh, the second he leave Islam is none of your business. It's my business. The rest. Don't tell him what to do. Now we continue. So here we see the Muslim suddenly he speak about heavenly father and without hating others. You know, this what this guy is talking about. The Islam is a religion of hate. Jesus, he said, love your enemy. But in Islam, Quran says, Allah said, he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Let us get this Abdul busted. You Muslims, you know, you you don't you pray to Allah directly. Actually, the Fatiha, the first chapter in the Quran, is a is a chapter of hate. Let us go there. The first chapter. In the first chapter, which the Muslim they recite five times a day, you are insulting the Christians and the Jews. <clears throat> Let us see. I think you will like it now. All right. Let us see here. Look like they made some change in the in this website, you know. Hmm. Anyway, you can read any uh, verse you want. So in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Okay. Allah saying in the name of Allah. How, how, how silly, how stupid. <laughs> hey, in the name of Christian Prince, <laughs> but aren't you Christian Prince? Yeah, but in the name of him, yeah. All the praise and thanks to Allah. Allah saying all the praise and thanks to Allah. This is obviously somebody he made a prayer. Muhammad is trying to copy the prayer of the Lord from the Bible. And he come with this fabrication. Look, he just say the most beneficent, the most merciful. And he repeated again in the verse number three. I mean, you just said that. What's wrong with you? Eh, nothing, you have nothing to say. The honor of the day, the judgment day, but this is Jesus. Jesus, he said, the judgment day in my hand. You know, I am the one who will judge all mankind. And then he says, <clears throat> you alone we worship. Allah is saying, you alone we worship. I mean, how silly. You see, if the Muslim, they say, oh Allah, telling Muhammad to pray, where it says to Muhammad, hey, pray Muhammad, pray like this. 
When the disciple of Jesus, they said to him, how we pray, he said to them, pray like that. Say, our Father out of heaven. Do you see here? It says how we pray now. <laughs> and then he says here, guide us the way, the straight way, the way of those whom you have bestowed your grace, not the way of those who you earned your anger or those who they are astray. Who are they, those one? The Christian and the Jews. We can go and read any interpretation. So you Muslims, five times a day, you say, you, you call us names. We are the cursed and we are the lost. Five times a day. Now, if we go to chapter five, just to show you how this guy, he says, oh, we Muslims, we don't teach uh, the hate, you know. Yeah, right, you know, I believe you. True story. Chapter five, verse number 14. <clears throat> I mean, why this chapter, the translation of those guys is so long? Unbelievable. Look, each verse is like, like a train. Look, the verse in Arabic is a few words. The verse in English is a, is a newspaper. What kind of translation this translation is? So, and from those who call themselves Christians, we took their covenant, but they have abundant a good part of the message, so we, we, we send them, uh, so we planted among them enmity and hatred until the day of resurrection. This is your God plan. Thanks to Allah, we Muslims don't teach hate and we don't preach hate. Who is the one who pray in the most? Say, may Allah kill them, may Allah destroy them. Who is the one who says, the Allah, or Yehud, or which means Muhammad, say, may Allah curse the Jews and the Christians. I mean, you, 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 at least when you want to lie, try to find something better. Isn't it the Quran says in the same chapter, 551, take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors. And if you take them, you are one of them, which means you are, you are, you are disgusting, you are ugly. So if you cannot take me as a friend, that's mean you, you have to take me as an enemy. So Islam teach enmity. Islam is evil. Don't want us to be friend. Muhammad don't wa want to see Christian prince. He have a friend. His name is Muhammad. As simple as that. So if Muhammad, he thought ever for a second to take me as a friend, the Quran will say to him, you cannot do that. This is a, uh, this is against Allah, Allahu Akbar. Take not the Jews and the Christian and the friends. This is the number one hate for religion in the world. So when a Muslim, he gives us, you know, speeches about hatred. Look who is talking. Look who is talking. All right, let us continue with the second comment. Additional to this kid. Uh, Yusuf Jarawan, he is saying, <clears throat> This is comment in the previous videos. You know, I, I deleted most of them, as you know. By the way, one of you, he said, uh, where is the video uh, which posted in Patreon? I thought Patreon is exclusive, uh, like, you know, video. First, my friend, we don't have exclusive. Our videos are for free. For the poor, the same as the rich. For the one who donate and the one who cannot donate. If you think you are donating to me so you can get special, like, uh, treatment, you are wrong. You are donating to support us, not because we treat you differently. I am not the door opener in a hotel who will call you, sir, if you give me some tips. My service is totally for free. All right. So the poor and the rich here are equal. Now, look at this. <clears throat> uh, uh, Muhammad Orhan, I'm coming to you. You have a comment. You said I, I will be with you soon. You read the context? Yeah, I read the context. Do you read it yourself? Why you don't call me and read it? It says it clearly. I mean, what context, guy? What context? What context? It says, take not Christian and Jews as a friend. <laughs> Even this one need context? Read 10 verses before it, read 10 verses after it, and tell me the context. It says it clearly, take not Christians and Jews as a friend. Read the context. A Muslim saying to me, why you don't call me? You know, I, you know what? I will open just for you, Orhan, Muhammad. I will open my Skype, my, sorry, my pal talk just for you. I challenge you to call me and read the context. And if you don't, it's mean you know that you cannot or you don't dare to read it. You are ashamed of the context. Do you dare? No, you don't. You have a big mouth. Our pal talk is open already. We will continue with the comments of the Abdul. Uh, let us go back here to the comment. Context, yeah, right. Uh, Darkon team, 
I do not deny it, but what is the context? Why are not those who say love their neighbors and do not follow the teaching? Uh -huh. You slap me, except me to give the other cheek. So if I tell you that your prophet is false, I am slapping you now. This is what slapping for you mean. Well, if this is the case, my friend, Jesus, he slapped you every day. Jesus, he said, be aware of false teachers. Be aware of false prophets who come to you in the clothes of a, of a sheep, but they are wolves. So now are you complaining about Jesus? So look at them. They cannot refute what we show them with the evidence from their own books. So now they pray and so they, they play victims. I mean, though they, we are the Christian who they are discriminated. We are the one who go to jail. We are the one who get executed. We are the one who get murders. We are the one who they kidnap our daughters. And yet here, because they don't know what to do. I mean, they cannot refute us. They cannot answer us. And Muslims are leaving Islam left or right. So what they will say? Look what he said here. <coughs> Uh, you slap me in my to give me the other cheek, expect me to have the other cheek. You don't, isn't it? Uh, but unlike the Bible, the Quran has a certain principle. If, 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 the Quran have certain principle. I like that. Actually, too bad I did not extend the text here. It says read more. Like what? Like a woman, she can give herself to the prophet? Like curse the Jews and the Christians? Like beat your wife? Like have sex with the children? What is the principle of the Quran? Like you go to your house, the house, the house of your son, and you flirt with the wife? Is that the principle you are talking about? Or maybe the principle of you kill somebody, you go to heaven, and Allah will be, give you women with big boobs. That is the principle. So when a Muslim, he give us a speech, look at them. They have empty words. They don't, okay, where is the principle? Show us, call us, here we go, I'm live. I'm live. Where is the principle? Muta? Is that the principle? To rent a woman for one night stand? Or two nights or three nights? Is that the principle? What what principle? So somebody tell me. Maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm not aware. So they have. I mean, the, the the video is full of evidence about the stupidity of the Quran, and this is their answer. Speeches about hatred. Eh, all of them. All of them. They are doing the same. Not even one of them is answering the topic. They love to play victims. The same guy he said here. <clears throat> Uh, dragon theme but your Bible and God the Bible teach love isn't it so where is the love you all inconsistent about okay hold on you just said our Bible and our God he teach love so why your God don't teach love if we have the same God okay we have somebody he claimed to be I think he just made this name Scientific miracle of the Quran. I'm assuming maybe he's a kid. We will see. Let us give him a chance. He want he want me to call him. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you like to say to us? Your name is Scientific Hi. Miracles in Quran. Yes. That's wonderful. There's scientific miracles in the Quran. Like what? For instance, the Quran says hmm. that the fetal production will be being explained in full detail before science, modern science knew. The Quran says what? The Quran describes the entire fetal production. The entire what? Fetal production. What, what are you talking about? The the embryo, the baby? Yes. Okay, which verse is that? I'll give it to you right now. All right. Waiting for you to give it to me. <clears throat> Why do you deny the Quran anyways? Well, let us see. 
you know you, you just mentioned a scientific I mean, I, you just mentioned I see, a scientific uh, miracle my friend let us see if it's a miracle or something okay, stupid I, I, and silly I, I, read, I, I read it to you I read which which chapter you are reading so, so it says here but al -Mu you don't know how to say the name my friend the name is al mu'minun al mu'minun learn how to no, say no 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 oh you are no, the, no, no, you no. are the same kid get get lost this is the same stupid kid yeah let me block him this is the same kid he called you know he's just a kid uh if we have any any muslim I know it's a kid because he, you know, he made the name like that. Desperate uh, child, he wants somebody to talk to him. This is the same kid who his mom she screamed at him in the other day. Uh, let us continue with the comment. <clears throat> uh, look what he's saying here. Have you have you ever heard a Muslim criticizing, swearing, mocking? And what not about Jesus? My friend, you criticize and you swear against Jesus every day. Your prophet, even he said he want to sleep with the mother of Jesus. So if your prophet really, he respects Jesus, he will not say such a statement. What if I say to you, I want to sleep with your mother? And your mother is like someone she died a long time ago. Hmm? So don't tell me that you Muslim respect Jesus. You don't respect Jesus. Actually, Islam is Antichrist belief. The Bible says, who is the Antichrist? Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son. Your prophet, he claimed that Jesus is nothing compared to him. Your prophet, you know, claim that Jesus cannot even intercede to people, but only him can intercede. So don't tell me you respect Jesus. You mock Jesus every day. You make fun of his book. You make fun of his writing. And not only that, You've tried to fabricate the meaning of his words, make it fit with Muhammad, like Muhammad is the comforter. And by saying that Muhammad is the comforter, you just admit that Jesus is the God of Muhammad. Because who is going to send the comforter? By, by Jesus, he will be sent. So you will notice all the comments have one tone. Playing victims. All of them, they play victims. But no answer for anything. Do you anyone see an answer? There's no answer. No answer. Do you see? Until now they are just crying, complaining. My pal talk again is open. If you are a kid, you want to play games and you are not even a Muslim, I will block you. Uh, let us see the second comment. Or next one. Christian Prince. Okay, see this guy is saying to me, uh, this is scientific recent found. Okay, what is a scientific recent found? Read carefully with me, guys. Let us make it uh, the text bigger. I don't know if the text is clear for you. I hope so. So this guy is saying, Christian Prince, he quote the verse, he says, this is a scientific fact recently found. Scientists discovered new pain sensing organ in skin. How Prophet Muhammad knew for this 1400 years ago? First of all, where in the verse it says that there is a new organ for, for pain? Where it says that, let us go to the verse and people will laugh. Let us go to the yellow pages, which is called the Quran. <clears throat> this is the chapter he is reading. And by the way, one of you, he said in the text, please, if you, you can mention to us the name, the chapter number and the verse number. My friend, always I mention the chapter number and the verse number. Hello, chapter 4, verse number 56. It says, those who reject our sign, and this is your Muslim translation, remember, not mine, we shall soon cast them into the fire, 
as often as their skin are roasted through we shall change them with the fresh skin now where is the new organ that they may test the penalty my friend is it a secret that when you get burned you burn from outside your skin burn first i mean is that a secret is that a discovery really this is what your god is saying human being he got burned outside the pain is outside he can feel when the, even when the sun burn you you feel this the, the burn in your skin you don't feel it in your stomach i mean what's wrong with those people they are desperate trying to find a scientific miracle everybody knows that you know the, anything happened to you outside is you are burned is going to be in your skin if somebody the fire department they rescue him from a fire what they will give medicine to his skin outside or to his stomach do you think his stomach is burned this is you know this is how desperate they are i mean the verse is so is okay we you know you you are you are roasted there's nothing more to be burned we will change it and by the way as long as you mention this let me ask you a question when allah he threats somebody about something he will do let us see how scientific it is as long as we are talking about science Look what your God Allah He said to the Christians and the Jews to believe in Muhammad. Oh, sorry. Chapter 4, verse number 47. Allah He threat the Christians and the Jews specifically, saying to us, If you don't believe in the Quran, we are going to make you pigs and monkeys. And this was in the time of Muhammad. Can you show me one Christian or a Jew he transformed to, into a pig and a monkey because he did not believe in the Quran? You are, you, know, you are the one who speak about science. Here we go. Allah, he predict that all the Christians and Jews who will not believe in Muhammad before he die. You cannot say this is in the future, by the way, because it says it clearly the same as we did. We curse the people of the Sabbath. Do you see it? So this is not for the future. This is a penalty he did immediately when they broke the Sabbath. How scientific that is. Do we have any Muslim can tell us why Muhammad made a threat? If we don't believe in him, Allah will make us pigs and monkeys and yet nothing happened. Any Muslim? Any Abdul? We have a Muslim, his name is Safe. He's saying stage show. Uh, everything is a stage for you because you are a staged person too. You see, people who they are fake, they believe everything for them is fake. A person who practice a fraud, everything for him is a fraud. What do you think? Any Muslim? Allah, he made a threat about your skin to be burned in the judgment day. But this is about us in the time of Muhammad. And by the way, here, look at the fast translation. It says, revealing, you know, now reveal, confirming what was already with you. What was? Is that what it says? Or what it is with you? Change the translator just to show you how they fabricate. You cannot trust a Muslim translation. Is it does it say really what was with you or what is with you? We change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us go to Big Tell. Let us see. Look at this. What was a change to be? Believe in what we have revealed, confirming that which is you possess. Do you see it? And then you will find the funny Abdul saying to us, the Bible is corrupt. Why the Quran says, we confirm what you possess. People of the book, people of the scriptures. I mean, look how stupid the Quran is. And look how stupid those who call themselves scholars. They say our book is corrupted, and then their God, he call us people of the scriptures. Have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? If our book is corrupted, so how you call us people of the scriptures? Tell me how old Mary and Joseph 
on marriage. Say if you are silly like your prophet, first of all, the Quran says, Mary, she gave birth without a man, you idiot. So according to your religion, there's no Joseph. Secondly, obviously, when, G when Mary, she gave birth to Jesus, according to your Quran, still she is not married. That means she can have a child. So if she get married after that, from the husband, Joseph, that mean it's after she gave birth to Jesus. So your argument is a stupid. Your prophet wife, he have sex with Aisha all his life, but yet he could not make her have a child. Why? Because he damaged her. The Hadith says that Aisha, she did not have her period even when she is 14 years old. And I can show you the reference. And he married her at the age of six. You will say to me, it says in Wakabidia, whatever Didia, it says she was 13. Okay, still 13, she is twice uh, twice and one year more older than Aisha. <laughs> and 13, when she gave birth to Jesus. This is what they say. There's no proof of that. This is like, you know, history, like, uh, let us say, a tradition, some tradition books, which we don't, you know, mean nothing for us. For us, the only source for information is the Bible. Anything else is just books. So, here you see the Muslims are desperate too to defend their prophet who go after children. A guy who is 54 years old after a six years old baby. Now we continue. So people of the scriptures, we believe in what revealed to you and confirming what you possess. So who is the dummy who says to us the Bible is corrupted? Give me your name. Because obviously you are speaking against your God. Show me the proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Show me the prophecy. I will show you he's a false prophet. <laughs> you just call him a prophet, right? So how you prove somebody is a false prophet? Check his prophecy. Ah, the text move. I wanted to take a selfie for the question. Selfie, selfie. Okay, John. Here we go. We will... We will put your question. Show me a prophecy of your prophet. I will show you that he is false prophet. This is what you say to me. Any prophecy you show me of Muhammad, you will see it's a false prophecy. Any one, any one of them. Anyway, so we continue. So here you see the verse confirming the Bible, confirming what we possess which means all those liars in YouTube who keep attacking the Bible, they are not even decent Muslims. They, are you listening? They are not even decent Muslim because a decent Muslim, if we, there is if there is such a thing as exist, I'm just using the term, you know, at least somebody who believe in what Quran is saying. I mean, I don't mean decent as decent because decency, it does not exist in Islam because decency does not mean you go flirt with the wife of your son. Decency does not go and go have sex with the children. Decency does not mean you can cheat somebody from the different religion. Decency does not mean you can kidnap somebody just because she is the wife of somebody who is not from your religion. Decency, however, in front of you it says that we confirm what you possess. Muslims, who is against this verse? Who believe that Allah, he made a scientific mistake? Uh, we have a Muslim, let us see, maybe this is the same kid, I don't know. We will give him a chance. Hmm. No, no, no. This is the same stupid kid. Shame on you, you kid. Shame on you and shame on your family. You are stupid. I mean, aren't you ashamed? But people are laughing at you. You are a donkey. This is what happened when you are a child belong to a family who they are careless. This guy is sitting in his room. He have nothing to do. He's a stupid. He have no life. He is looking for somebody to give him some attention. And now we give you the attention. You are a stupid. You earn it. <laughs> so, uh, confirming which you possess before we destroy. You see the word before? Before we destroy you and we erase your face. Allah will erase our face and Allah will make our face in the in the back of our head.
Guys, don't don't make comment about this kid. He this is what he want. You you guys are being silly too. You are just feeding him. This guy is just a kid. So when you say that what he say like no 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 he's excited now he will make a new name he will call me again. Look like we don't we have too many people who have low IQ. I mean are you adult mature or you are just coming here for fun? Shall I disable the chat because this guy is just coming here to be to see himself in the chat. He is just calling so he can see what you people will say in the chat. And obviously many of you are a bunch of kids. You can leave. I don't care about your chat. I'm not here coming to entertain you. What we do here is very serious. We are not here to attract a bunch of kids looking for fun. I have better things to do. So believe in what we have revealed, confirming that which you possess before we destroy you and we erase your face. Like here, the translation is stupid. It doesn't say even erasing your faces. Uh, we make your eyes with no eyes and your nose go inside your head. If you go to the interpretation, let us see the interpretation. <clears throat> All right. Tafsir Ibn Kathir. This is again chapter 4, verse number 47. Let us read together. Before we erase their faces, meaning, meaning we put their faces on their backs. We put their faces where? In their backs. And make them walk backward. I mean, look how stupid that is. If my face and my back, how that is backward. Okay, let us, let us, uh, let us, uh, let us draw this. I mean, Muhammad, he got a lot of ideas, man. This guy is really something. So, this is your face. Let us draw here. Let us see how many people will leave because we disabled the chat. I hope all the kids will leave. So, according to Muhammad, this is your face. Right, we need a more thick line. Give me a second. All right. Now, because you are a Christian and you did not believe in Allah, Allah will switch your face to the other side. This is your eyes, and this is your nose, and this is your mouth. Just live with it. I mean, how silly, how stupid, how dummy, how fake, how how childish this, this is a threat, especially he did not do it. You see, he said he will do the same as he did to the people of Sabbath. So the Muslim cannot say this is in the judgment day because he gave us an example of his curse. He cursed those who broke the Sabbath. He made them pigs and monkeys, which is more funny, stupid story too. So when Allah, he make a threat, is Allah even capable of doing what he say? If he is a true God, he just told them, you have to believe now before I will erase your faces. And nobody give the garbage of Muhammad and attention. They said to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, do it. All right, do it. 
why Muhammad did not do it. Huh? It was a fake threat from a fake prophet. That is the truth. When Jesus he cursed the tree, the tree die. A tree was dead to the roots. And again, the Quran is so stupid book. In total disagreement with the Muslims, as you see the Quran say, that Allah he agree, that he confirm that what we have between our hand, which is already with us, he confirm it. And here we ask a question, if Muhammad do not know how to read our books, how he can confirm it? That would be stupid to confirm a book you cannot read. Secondly, because remember the Muslim they say, he do not know Arabic, he do not know Hebrew, he do not know anything. So how he can confirm it? They will say to you, the one who is confirming is Allah. Okay, if Allah is confirming, so why your stupid YouTubers say the Bible is corrupted? And how in the world do you call us people of the scriptures at that time if we don't have a scriptures? So here we see many contradiction. We will see how the Muslims are so desperate, they go against their Quran in order to fight our belief. Bankrupt people. I'm going to do to able the chat again, but please maintain with me. You see, he did not call because now he knew there's no chat. Don't support stupid people. Be smart, be intelligent. You call a kid the donkey, Muhammad Orhan, he said. Yes, Muhammad Orhan, are you saying the Quran is not right? The Quran says people like you who carry a book and they don't know how to read it or understand it, they are donkeys. So suddenly you are against the word donkey. The Quran called the Christian zebra. He called those who don't believe in Allah zebras. This is how hypocrite they are. Let us see what the Quran says about donkeys. And actually the verse in the Quran, I like it. It supports something I believe in. Muhammad, he carry books he cannot read. Obviously, the verse is speaking about him, not about us. Uh, if we go in the Quran, in this verse, we will find the following. Chapter 62, verse number 5. That similarity of those who carry books. They carry a book in their back, a book of God. They are the same as donkeys. Do you see it? They are similarity, similar, the likeness of a donkey who carry a huge burden of books. So you Muslims, you have endless numbers of books, Al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Ibn Ishaq, Ibn Kathir, and the second we show you something written there, you say it is rejected. So you are the one who create in your back. You are the one who bring it to us. You are the one who print it. And the second we read it for you, you cry. Isn't it this is an act of donkeys? That you carry a book, you write a book, you print a book, you publish a book, and then when we read what is written in the book, you did carry it in your back. You say to us, we refuse it. Are you there, Orhan? Isn't it this is reality? <laughs> Guys, isn't it this reality? Those people, they carry books in the top of their back. Don't treat it for us. Like the guy who agree with me that in Islam, yes, we rent women. 
So I said, oh, so you Muslim Sunni, you rent women, huh? huh? He said, don't say that. Like, you just said that to me. It's okay if he, he say it. It's okay not if I say it. He just said. He just said the word. So who is a Muslim when I show us scientific facts in the Quran? Look at this Abdul. Another, another example of how they are hypocrite. CP, very stupid. He worship a crops. You see the stupidity and the hypocrisy. First of all, Christians, we don't believe that Jesus is dead. We don't. Secondly, you Muslim believe he's in heaven. So which crops you are talking about? The only crops I know is your prophet who when he died, the Muslims refused to bury him for three days because he lied to them and he claimed that the body of the prophet ground will not consume it. And then when Muhammad, after three days, he was not buried, he start farting and the gas come from his belly and he stink. So Ibn Abbas, he said, اِدْفُنُوا صَاحِبَكُمْ فَإِنَّهُ يَأْسًا كَمَا يَأْسًا لِلْبَشَرُ Bury your friend, he is stink, he stink, yes, son. And according to your Islamic reference, he have blue nails, green nails. His belly is coming up, which happened to all dead people if you don't clean their stomach from the food. That is the bacteria. And then the fart will start coming from your bum. And if there is any Muslim when I say to me, it's not true, show me the reference, call me, I will make you read it, right? Life on air. And then they will be upset for me reading then to them how Muhammad died. Muhammad died and he was a stinky. Actually, even they could not take him and move him from his place because he, his, his meat is coming out. He, they bury him in the same bed. They did not even wash him. And here, this is a challenge for the Muslims. Why the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days, three nights? Any Muslim can tell us? Why you did not bury him for three days or three nights? Are you hoping he will come back from the, from the tomb the same as Jesus? Huh? Is that what you think will happen? Any Muslim have an answer? Read it, read it, read it and love. And this is Sahih. They cannot say to you, this is weak as usual, you know? This is Sahih, as you see, Sahih. Oh, this is weak. This hadith alone actually proved that Muhammad is a fraud because he stink and he lie. He said to them, pray, pray for all your prayer will be displayed to me. Who are you, Muhammad, to display the prayer for you? Are you God? Muhammad here is a plain Jesus. Is it important to where he buried? No, it's not important where he is buried, but it's important to show you how he was buried. He lied. You should not bury him. Read uh, uh, Muhammad or him. If you are a prophet, and this is again a correct statement, this is not fabricated hadith, this is very authentic, exists in many books. If he claim that his God promised him that the body of the prophet, they said to him, how we are going to pray and the, our prayer will be submitted to you. The people ask the Messenger of Allah, how can we pray, not blessing, will be submitted to you while your body is decayed. He said, he replied, the exalted has forbidden the earth from consuming the bodies of the prophet. So why you bury him? Why you bury him? And why your book says that he stink? <laughs> it's 
You stink. Hmm. Uh, maybe this is the same kid. I don't know. Let's see this guy. Give him a chance. Maybe it's the same kid. We don't know. But let us see. Maybe it is him. Lonely boy. No, 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 no. Hmm. Yeah. Stupid the creature. By the way, this is what happened to your children. If you don't educate them, if you have a very lousy family where the parents, they don't know nothing about you, where your child, he closed the room and he lived in his own fantasy, looking for an identity for himself, he can end the very wrong place. So look what else would happen here. Muhammad, he claimed clearly that the earth will not consume his body so why the hadith he said he stink any Muslim don't make comment about him otherwise I will hide you from the chat anyone can tell me how Muhammad he claimed that his body will not decay, which means if we open the grave of Muhammad right now, we will find the grave. Muhammad is there, right? Why Muhammad don't want, don't you want to see how Muhammad look like? Uh, in last time, uh, okay. Yeah, this guy, he keep repeating the same question. My friend, he asked you a question. And actually I saw, I made, I made the, uh, I made the, uh, I made a screenshot about your question, which is very stupid a question just to show you. But let me see which one was your question. I have too many screenshot. Uh, let us see which one. Give me a second. You see guys, they, they try to change the topic. You know what the purpose of this thing? You, my friend, he asked you a question, why you didn't answer it? Because he's ashamed of the stupidity in front of him, change it. We will change it, don't worry, we will go back to. <laughs> Because all those things will do will end in the same ending, happy ending. Here we go. I found your your comment in this in the comment section. Let us laugh together. My friend asks you a question. You do not answer it. My friend he says, Who is the father of your book? Look at the stupidity. Look at the stupidity. What the father of my book, my friend? In the Quran, your Quran have is, is the mother of the book, not my book. It's your Quran. Do you want me to show you? The mother of the books. The Quran have babies. Who is the husband? Do you want me to be silly like you? You are just a silly child. This spread to change the topic. If we go in the Quran. We will find the Quran say the following. Who is the father of your book? Hmm. <clears throat> Let us see. Why you don't call me? So we can laugh. I mean, where is your courage? You know, I don't know. I don't think the picture there is yours. You know, you have a beard. Your beard is not functioning. This beard is for what? Is that a beard of a man or this is just a... Maybe you are a girl. Be a man and call me and let us read together. So look what the Quran said. Chapter 13, verse number 39. Hmm. With him is the mother of the books. Is she the wife? Is Allah talking about his wife? Who is the mother of the books? Any Muslim can answer? You see, I'm answering your question. You said, who is the father of your book? I will say the question. We don't believe in such a thing. 
If you are saying that Jesus is the Word of God, that's mean the Father. That's it's a silly of you. The Word of God mean God Himself, not a book. For us, when we say the Word, the Word is the power of God. God, He say, be is going to be. By Him and for Him, everything was created. But you are the one who have a God who said that He have the mother of books with Him. Who is that? What her name? You will say it doesn't mean that. It's mean the Quran is the most important book. But look, that even will be more stupid because how a book can be more important from the other books of Allah? You know what I'm saying, guys? If the Quran is the mother of all books in the meaning of uh, the most important, that's mean the other books, Allah, he wrote them when maybe he was asleep. Maybe he was drunk. <laughs> Actually, we can show you other verse in the Quran which show you the stupidity of the Quran author as an example. All of us, we always hear, the Muslim, they say, that nobody can make Quran like the Quran. And we will go that to that part in a second after we finish this verse. To show you how, how 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 stupid this statement is but in this verse here it says whatever verse or revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten allah caused the revelation to be forgotten aren't you muslim you say the quran preserved is that after tax so when the quran says that there is Verses which Allah Himself He caused it to be forgotten, and the Muslim they say to us, "Oh no, we memorize the Quran." Are you accusing your God to be a liar? Any Muslim? When you say we memorize the Quran word by word, and your Quran, your God Allah says, "No, we cause them to forget the Quran." Who Allah caused to forget the Quran, the Christians? No, we don't memorize it. We don't care for it. We laugh at it. So if Allah, he caused the Quran to be forgotten, how you can memorize it? Hey, Orhan, you know, if you want to say stupid things, I will, hey, here we go. Hey, let me block you. I have no time for kids. Where's your face? Get out. Let your dad talk to me. We memorize the Quran, Allahu Akbar. We recite the Quran by heart. And the Quran says, Allah says that he caused the Muslim to forget the Quran. And not only that, the stupidity of the author of the Quran go way farther by saying, after we make them forget it, we bring something similar. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? If you are going to bring something similar, why you are making them forget it? Any Muhammadan? So you make me forget. Okay, let us. You know, I'm going to recite Al-Fatiha. Uh, no, actually, there is a there is a comment. Hold on. There is somebody make the comment. Let us see if this one. Here we go. This is a Muhammadan, a smart Muhammadan. He made this comment. This is the chapter of Al-Kafirun, which means the Kuffar. Look at this chapter. I mean, it is a mockery of anyone have intelligence, intellect. Read carefully. Oh, this believer, I do not worship what you worship, nor do you worship what I worship. I will never worship what you worship, nor you ever worship what I worship, and nor you have your way, I have mine. Look, what the heck? If I change just the word worship to eat, oh, who you believe, this believer, I will not eat what you eat, and you will never eat what I eat, and I will never do eat what you eat, because you will never do eat what I eat, and I will never do eat you what you eat, because you will not eat what I eat, for I have my food and you have yours. This is God. So Allah, He keep this verse, and yet the verse of a breastfeeding for adult, he could not keep it? Or the stoning? What we learn from this verse? This verse actually prove or the chapter 
Prove that Muhammad is a false prophet because all those people who say to them, you will not worship what I worship, later they became Muslims. People, do you understand? Like somebody said, prove to me that Muhammad is a false prophet. The chapter of Al-Kafirun is the proof that Muhammad, a clear proof, Muhammad is a false prophet because he spoke to people who, they, who he was fighting and later all of them, they became Muslims. So how you say, you will not worship what I worship, nor I will worship what you worship. I worship not what you worship. And I will not worship that you have been worshiping, nor you will worship which I worship. Do you see it? And then all of them later, because Muhammad, he conquered them, he won the war, all of them became Muslims. And they worship Allah. Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? So Muhammad, he said that if I die, my body will not be consumed. And he was consumed. And he start farting. His belly start giving gas. His skin is getting green. The, his, his nails get, became a green and blue. And it, the, 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 scar, the, the companion of the Prophet, they were fighting over burying him because he, yes, son, he stink. Disgusting stink. What about we open the grave of Muhammad and see if he is telling the truth? If we go to the verse about Allah, he will make similar. Allah don't stop here. Allah, he wanna make more poo-poo. I wish he stopped with the, with the word similar. No. He said he will make similar or better. I mean, Allah will make Quran better than the Quran of Allah. Don't ask me what I think about people. I never heard of those people anyway, and I don't care who they are. Please, people who want to come here, don't ask me about this guy and that guy. I don't know them. They don't know me. I'm a person who work alone. Same time, I never heard of them. I they don't. They never debated me. I don't know why you are. Are you trying to promote them? Focus with us on the topic. Anyone will ask question out of the topic. It's mean he is useless. It's mean he is wasting our time and his time. I mean, what is in your head? We are talking about something important in the verse. Oh, do you know what do you think about this guy? I mean, do you think I'm going to stop this? Look what you did. I will stop our topic just to answer you what I think about that guy. When we are going to be adult mature, it's like you are in a classroom and then you raise your, your hand. Hey, hey, sir, what do you think about Trump? Like, what did Trump have to do with us? My problem is the, the chat, I hate it, honestly. Because everybody is welcome. And obviously people like kids. Nobody wanna grow up. We have a topic. So Muslims, Allah is going to make Quran better than the Quran. So how, the, how you Muslim you say to us that nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. If Allah himself, he's saying he can make Quran better than his Quran. And what happened? Allah, he went to school. Allah had learned better Arabic. Last year he was not good. Allah, now he finished high school. Last year he was in elementary school. How Allah will make Quran better than Allah? Anyone can tell me? Do we have any Muhammadan? This is cannot be from God. So look what happened here. Muhammad, he cannot recite the same verse twice correctly. He's a fool. And people, they notice that he cannot do that. And we can show you more reference. 
So in order to cover his lies, he said, oh, Allah make me forget it, but don't worry, be happy. Allah will give me something similar. Or you know what, even better. <laughs> and the funny, the Muslim, they say to us, we recite the Quran by heart. Even your prophet, he forget the Quran. Even the hadith confirm that Muhammad, he forget the Quran. Any Muslim? The Messenger of Allah recited Yahya, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. It says, I prayed along with the Messenger of Allah and witnessed that he recited the Quran during the prayer and omitted something. <laughs> Omitted something, <laughs> i.e., some verses, i.e., what some verses which he did not recite. A man he said to him, oh, Messenger of Allah, you omitted such and such verses. <laughs> the messenger said, Why you did not remind me of it? <laughs> well, he just did. <laughs> <coughs> Why you did not remind me, okay? I mean, uh, well, isn't it your Muslim? You say, if a Muslim Abdul from Pakistan, he can recite the Quran by heart. Why the Prophet, he cannot? You tell me. Any Muhammadan? And later the Muslim, they say those verses later. Uh, guys, look, look, look at here. Look how the Muslim, they tried to cover the bum of Muhammad. They said, the narrator, Suleiman said, in his version, he the man said, I thought it, the verses was repealed. Because Muhammad always, he said to them, oh, this is repealed, so to cover it. But it's not, obviously, you know, because he said to him, why did not remind me? He did not say to him, oh, those are, I abrogate them, forget about them. And, and who are you to abrogate verses? And why does God, he abrogate verses anyway? If you go, if you go to the interpretation, you will see that the Arab were making fun of Muhammad. That Muhammad, he made a verse in the morning, he abrogated in the, he make it afternoon, he abrogated by the morning. Can you believe it? How crazy this man is. Do we have any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. No Muhammadan? Hmm. What, we are out of them? What happened? Nobody want to go to heaven and get the, you know, I mean, the reward of Allah? Who want to go to heaven and get the reward of Allah? If you call me and defend Islam, my friend, you cannot imagine how much Allah will reward you. He will give you a lot of reward. I mean, I don't know how to count it for you. Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Who want to show us the miracle of the Quran? Scientific miracle of the Quran. Quran and modern science. I want to talk about Quran and modern science. Hmm? Modern science. A lot of modern science in the Quran.
Quran and Modern Science by Dr. Zakir Naik, full. But then Twitter. The Quran is the book of science. And I can show you a lot of scientific in the Quran. Hold on. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and tell me what Zakir Naik he said about any miracle of your choice? We cannot play his video because they will claim copyright over it. But you are free to tell me from his video what Zakir Naik said and you believe it's true. Uh, somebody saying, see guys, now we are not in the topic. So now you can ask, do, do we talk, debate this guy or etc. Now, okay, we are done. Uh, would you, would it be possible if you to call Muslim apologist or you have to wait for them to call you? No, give me their, their pal talk. I will call them right now. Actually, none of those who they, I call them. I am the one is calling. They text me. They say they don't mind to, to talk to me. I will call them. Anyone, give me, you know, do you know any Muslim who claim to be, have a knowledge? I will call him right now. They don't even dare to give me their ID to call them. We don't care if you call me or I call you. It doesn't matter, really. I mean, that is that is even very silly. You see, for me, I don't go after people called like I don't call the mosque because they might say he's harassing us. Like I will not call a phone number. But if you have like a, a, a pal talk and you are a person willing to talk to us, I will call you. Right now. Not tomorrow. Anyone, don't tell me even the name. Surprise me. Give me someone who's really big. His his beard is not like Zach and Nike. He's trying to use fertilizer, but never grow. Any Mohammedan? So who is a Muslim when, I, you know, the topic is Quran and modern science. Is it really true the Quran have a modern science? Who is a Muslim believe in such a thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Zakir Naik, I feel sorry for him. He's trying all his life to make his a beard. Do you see how his beard? I, I, I wish I can give him some of my hair. I, I, I hate my beard. I shave it. I, I, after a few hours, I would have a new beard. I mean, it's just a few, take a few hours. You know, number of Mimi Hijab. Very, no, I do not know their number. And secondly, I called Mimi Hijab. He hung up on me seven times in less than three minutes. Go watch it. And the Fifi, he don't dare. Give me his number, I will call him. Give me his uh, his uh, pal talk or his Skype. Even I'm not using Skype, but I will call them in Skype. Give me give me their number. Go ahead. Don't you know that they claim they want to debate me face to face? The cowards. D don't be silly and stupid. You know, if somebody want to debate, he will say everybody will come. All right, guys. If somebody really is willing to debate, he will say, okay, call me CP. I will call him. They don't dare. Mimi Hijab, he said, okay, guys, so you want me to debate Christian Prince? Muslim, they believe him because he said he would have debate me. I called him. He hanged more than seven times in less than three minutes. And he ran away. None of you there. Mimi is a kid, actually. He is not even, I mean, I mean, you see, the guy, you know, your body have a part. Who said so? Who said so? Your prophet says so. The Quran says so. All the scholars say so. He have hands. He have a foot. He have search right now in YouTube that Allah have hands. Allah have a foot. Allah have a shin. Allah have a face. And then the kid in a debate, he says, who said so? Those are kids. Those are just kids. This guy, actually, he caused a big problem for Muslims. He is the one who brought Yasser Qadi, and he forced him to say the truth, that the standard narrative have holes. And the one who got him in that trouble is Fifi, who leaked the email. That's why you cannot trust Muslims. The poor Yasser Qadi, he thought he is sending emails only to Muslims. He don't know that those Muslims are the same Muslims in the time of Muhammad. They betray each other. That's why the Muslims, their money is not in Saudi Arabia Bank. It is in USA. It's in Switzerland. 
They will never trust a Muslim. That is the truth, my friend. Who said so? I can go right now to YouTube. I just type, Allah have hands. And you will find ton of Muslim scholars says, yes. Actually, even Fifi himself, he said, Allah have, uh, have hands. Fifi, Susu, the beautiful Fifi. Let us see. <laughs> Do you see the video? This is a video posted by someone is Shia. This is not my video. I have nothing to do with it. Allah has two hands. Who is the one is talking in this video? Fifi. But Mimi, when he was talking to David Wood, he said to him, who said so? This is Fifi himself, the one you want me to call him. Let us move, because the start is just words. And let us play the video. Listen to Fifi explain to you how Allah have hands. Alhamdulillah. Remember, this is a video made by Shia. But the hands of Allah, the hand of Allah is chained. Chained are their hands. And cursed mm -hmm. are they for what they say. Rather, both his hands are extended. Okay? Now, what's interesting about this, um, we were speaking about metaphorical versus... Um, you know, um, apparent or uh, um, wh what was the word? Or literal. Now, the term uh, Yadahu, again, what do, what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah. All right. The hand and look, look how he squeezed himself. What the Jews says, the hands of Allah. It's like coming, you know? You know, it's like uh, the hands of Allah. He's explaining to the Sheikh, my friend. Allah have ends. Stop being a stupid. And look now what he will say. He will he right away he will he will say to him, You can, it's up to you if you don't believe. And then he said, No, no, it's not up to you. Because he's a coward, he was afraid. Hand Allah, of Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, No, no, both his hands are one of you he asked me in my book translation, it says both Allah hands. And they said to me, How come we cannot find it in translation? <laughs> <laughs> if you read English translation, it's hard to find both Allah hands. No one says Allah hands. But this is what it says in Arabic, and this is what Fifi is reading. May Allah bless her. Are extended. Subhan both. Subhan both. Both. What does this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that, that, you know, that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. Did you, did, you, did you hear the coward potato? He said to him, if you don't accept that, that's fine. And, no, no, I didn't say you cannot accept that, that's fine. No, no, I didn't say, I didn't say, no, no. He because he's afraid now people will, uh, will attack him. But look at the hypocrisy. Fifi Kuku, he watched the debate of Fifi Mumu. So when Mimi, he said to David Wood, that Allah have don't, don't have hands, who said so? How come Fifi did not make a video to refute him as he's refuting this guy? You see how they are coward? They are in the bed together, they are hypocrites. If you are standing for what you believe, how come with this guy, you say to him, you are wrong, Allah have two hands, but you don't do a video for Mimi. Say to him, Mimi, you did lie in the debate. Yes, Allah have two hands. Now, who want to download this video and share it around? You want the video? Here we go. I present to you Sister Fifi from behind the veil, getting Mimi hijab busted. 
we can show you i mean the fifi is not us those guys are kids those are youtubers but if we go right now and we search for scholars really scholars or they call themselves as scholars between the muslim today you will find endless numbers of them saying yes allah have hands allah have foot allah have a shin allah have eyes audio up my mic no my friend i think you have a problem from your side my mic is good let us see we have somebody let us see if he is a muslim Allah have hands. Yeah. You can't accuse us of shirk for following the Quran, for accepting what we find in the Quran. You cannot accept, you cannot call us mushrikeen for believe Allah have two hands. We have a Muslim we would like to talk, let us see. <coughs> yes, hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, kiss and peace, right? Uh, yeah, uh, this is me. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, I am. All right. Like, how... I am a Muslim uh, uh, Sunni from uh, Bukhara. Bukhara? From, uh, Bukhara? Hanafi sect. Hanafi sect, yes. From what sect? Hanafi. Uh, your voice is not clear for me. Hanafi Hanafi, 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 Hanafi. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, no problem, no, no problem. So, what do you want to say to us, my friend? I don't know uh, if you know what the title of the video. If you want to talk about it, or you want to talk about something else. The title of the video is uh, Quran and Modern Modern Science, and uh, you are welcome okay. to talk about this topic, or if it's up to you, what do you think? Do the Quran really have modern science as Muslim they claim, or it's a uh, <coughs> it's fake? Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, I I don't know. Arabic language. Okay. So, uh, and uh, actually, I was introduced uh, you by YouTube about a month and a half ago, month and a half ago, and I started uh, listening and watching your videos, and I was, you know, the shocked about the information you are giving and I uh, download your book uh, in Russian okay. called uh, 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 how it called is it deceiving All right. Allah is deceiving or something okay so uh, I read about it and I was you know I was mm, shocked and uh, started questioning All right. my friends my teachers and uh, they uh, they're saying that uh, uh, the it must be the enemy enemies of the uh, Muslims. Okay. They always been there mm -hmm. uh, from earliest uh, uh, earliest Quran revealed to Muhammad. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they they uh, even the the hadiths that that you are giving they said that the uh, they put uh, mm, inside, you know, the the book, hmm. kind of to, uh, you know, dishonor the Muslim world and dishonor the Muhammad. Hmm. So the they they always enemies. So the, don't listen them. Mm -hmm. So follow uh, our path, you know, uh, because I don't know the Arabic words. They said the. Quran is a miracle. Uh, Quran is uh, the language uh, only uh, uh, Muhammad and his uh, companions, and uh, only Allah knows, you know, what they said. Uh, and this is the, you know, the uh, beyond our understanding. Okay, my friend. So we cannot uh, get. All right. You, you you said to me you are from Bukhara, right? Yes. Okay. So you are from where Bukhari is coming from? Central Asia. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Correct, is, yes. is Bukhari is a liar? I don't know. No. You how you know? I mean, the Muslim Sunni. They are Muslim Sunni. The one who spoke to you. They are Muslim Sunni. Correct. 
Yes, yes. Okay. So as long as they are Muslim Sunni, then they have to accept what what uh, what Al Bukhari he said, what Sahih Muslim he said. So when they say to you, nobody knows what the Prophet said. So how do you know what the Prophet said about the Quran too? The Quran, they were not there too. The, mm -hmm. Okay. So if that, no, if no, if nobody knows, if nobody knows, then nobody knows. Either they knew or they don't know. So because those hadith I'm showing, which is the question is, are they true? Am I lying or I'm showing what is there? It is there. I give reference. So uh, uh, because we are giving reference and they cannot yes. refute the reference, they say only Allah knows what he meant. What the, even the hadith he meant. Like the hadith says that the prophet was bewitched. What they can do about that? This is Al-Bukhari. How a prophet of Allah is bewitched? But it's not uh, translated to our language, you know? That's the problem. The language barrier is a huge. So we don't know. No problem. Even, uh, no pro uh, no even, problem. No even pro our... No problem. But, but, but our now, scholars... Yeah. Okay. Our scholars say they n never heard about this hadith. They never been uh, taught, you know? We have a, uh, the institute uh, 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 named of Al Bukhari. Okay. So they uh, they they learn the Arabic language from Arabs from I don't know, uh, and they uh, go to Medina, they go to Egypt, hmm. and uh, they've been t taught what the Arabs uh, you know the say to them. The for example, even. Uh, even uh, some kind of words from the Quran, they don't uh, my friend, my tell friend, them. My friend, let, that let, let, let us, let us think, meaning. Yeah, let us think me and you. You just uh -huh. said they have institute called Al Bukhari Institute. So the Institute of Al Bukhari do not know what Al Bukhari yeah. said. I mean, can you really believe it? So they are the Institute of Al Bukhari, and they work in the Institute yes. of Al Bukhari. Yet they do not know what Al Bukhari yes. said. So, so why they call themselves yes, scholars? Yes, I guess so. Okay, so how they call themselves scholars? I mean, what kind of a scholar? He do not know what Al Bukhari said, and they call themselves. We work in the Institute of Al Bukhari. It's like I work in the Institute yeah. of Hummus, but I never know what Hummus is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Isn't it isn't it silly? Yeah. So simply, they cannot answer. They cannot refute, and now they are saying, "Oh, we do not know those hadith." There is no way that you see. They, first of all, if they say they don't know, it means they are lying about being scars. This is number one lie. If they knew and they say mm -hmm. we do not know them, it means they are running away from those hadith because they don't know what to say to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think? That's why I'm calling to you and you know the the uh, not to refute you, not to de debate you, but just asking the uh, some questions that uh, I'm to be honest, I I'm confused right now. So they they saying one thing, you are saying one thing, who to believe? I don't know. You, know, you see, uh, you, you notice, as, to long, be honest, you know? as long as you are watching my videos, you notice I show everything in the screen, yeah. correct? Yes. And the translation is a Muslim translation, correct? Yes. And so how, I'm, how, thing is, how I can they, be, how they, I can be they, lying? They, how I can be lying? Yeah, yeah. They, one more thing. They... Uh, uh, they saying that that Arabs now mm -hmm. uh, who living is uh, in a Saudi. Yeah. They uh, they uh, wrong. They mm -hmm. follow uh, not a true path. Mm -hmm. They Wahhabis or something, Salafis. <clears throat> so they they saying don't listen them. Listen to us. Uh, uh, we have a you know the true Islam kind of you know. Uh, I don't know. Mm to believe yeah people I'm so, so uh, confused right now no problem uh, first of all people in the comment section please don't repeat the same thing about a kid he made a video to refute me there's millions of muslims make videos to refute me if they are if they dare let them call me if you repeat the name of a person we will accept that you are trying to promote the person and we will block you as simple as that if there is somebody want to debate me here we go the gentleman here i do not know him he called me from the middle of nowhere he can call me the one who can refute me please call me so don't come to me and say somebody he refuted you somebody he said you are lying they can say whatever they want don't be silly don't be a kid now my friend uh, yes. Al-Bukhari 
the Quran, the interpretation we are using most of the time is Sunni. Like just yesterday, we have a Shia. This is why we showed him Shia. But usually, we show always Sunni. So how we are lying if we are showing what Al Bukhari said, what the Quran is saying, and what the mm -hmm. Islamic interpretation of the Sunni for them, not our interpretation. Yes. So how we can be lying? I think the but the the problem is the language. No, 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 you know, they, no, no, no. You, you see, uh, you see, they claim to be scholars, right? Scholars mean that you know that they should know Arabic. What language? How you can be a scholar you do not know Arabic? Yes, they know Arabic, but okay. uh, they've been taught. Uh, I think they've been taught uh, what they wanted to, you know, uh, uh, how to teach them Arabic. Okay, Not but the uh, true but, meaning of the Quran. But the, as, but the, as but the sheikh, but the sheikh, he's, if he claimed to be a sheikh and he's studying in Saudi Arabia and Egypt, as you said, well, he should be speaking Arabic, yes. so he should be able to know what it says. Secondly, this is not an excuse. Here we go. We have it in different languages translated by, by the Muslims. The hadith now is translated by Muslims in many languages. So what they would do with that? That is not excuse, my friend. Secondly, if you are saying to me you do not know what Islam is because of Arabic, that's mean Muhammad should not be a prophet. Because the Quran said that Allah, he never sent the messenger except in the tongue of his people so they might understand. And now you are confirming because we do not know Arabic, we cannot understand Islam, correct? Yes. All right. So that's mean Allah is, is, a, is false God and Muhammad is a false prophet because Muhammad himself, he said, if you go in the Quran, in your language, you can read it if you want, as long as you speak Russian, chapter 14, verse number four. It says, we never send a messenger, we send not a messenger, except with the tongue of his people, in order that he might make the message clear to them. Okay, so the reason is so clear, and the reason makes sense. We will send the, the, we will send the message in the language of the people, say, so they might understand. So if you are from Bukhara, and at that time you used to speak maybe Persian, you know, before you became part of uh, Soviet uh, Union, etc. Uh, Turkic, we have, we have spoken Turkic. Turkish, okay. So, you know, I, yeah. as I know that some... No, it's some, Turkic. Oh, Turkic, okay. So, uh, 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 if, if you speak Turkish, shouldn't Allah, he send you a book in, in Turkish? So you will not have this problem? I guess so. Okay. And the Quran confirmed what, that what's Allah... number of the... I'm sorry. What's the number of... The, chapter 14. The number of the chapter 14, verse number 4. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So, so what? Uh, so, so, uh, uh, so now the problem you are suffering from that the Muslims, the Muslim themselves, mm -hmm. they don't want to believe in the Quran because the Quran says, and then they try to explain. They say, "Oh, this is before Muhammad." No, it says we send not a messenger except in the language of his people. This is in the time of Muhammad was given to Muhammad, not before Muhammad. Mm. You know, Allah, he is confirming that we never send a messenger unless he speak to the tongue. This is why you see, if you go and check in the Quran, you will find the many times the Quran speak about the Arab. Because Muhammad, he was uh, an Arab prophet for the Arab. You know, he was an Arab mm -hmm. prophet for the Arab. Like he was sent to, the, to Mecca and what is around it. All right, so it says here in chapter 12, verse number two, have we okay. sent, have we sent it da down as an Arabic Quran in order they may learn wisdom? This is translation in Arabic. Actually, it says, which means so you might be wise and understand. So uh, why we send it in Arabic? Obviously, he said it in Arabic because he is talking to the Arab. Mm -hmm. And as long as the Quran says in the other chapter, which is chapter 14, verse number 4, we never send the messenger except speaking the tongue of his own people. That means the Quran should, should be sent only to the Arab and Muhammad should be sent only to the Arab. Muhammad is not a prophet for you. I'm just reading uh, our our school uh, 
uh, interpretation of this ayat, and they're saying that, uh, uh, hold on, I, let me translate as, a, as far as I can. Okay. They're saying that the, 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 uh, let me, let me translate it for you. Okay. I, I know it's a different uh, uh, point of view. You know, they say the, the, uh, the after Muhammad, uh, there was a, a lot of uh, new languages. So because of the Muhammad uh -huh. is the uh, prophet <laughs> until, until, uh, you know, Qiyamah, uh, what the Qiyamah? Uh, Qiyamah, until ju judgment, judgment day. day. Judgment day so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, until judgment day. So he is the, uh, the uh, because of the, he's the last uh, prophet. So uh, the, the, our, the Allah have chosen uh, Arab, Arab language because of the, it's a holy language. So uh, <laughs> the, anyone, anyone can understand if you want, if you will to learn, if you, uh, oh. your heart is open, you know, okay. blah, blah, let blah. It, blah. Let, let us analyze, let us analyze, like that. let us analyze how silly that. They just said, because in the time of Muhammad, there is many languages after why there's before Muhammad, there's no many languages. India alone have, have 400 ethnic group alone exist before Muhammad, which means there's more than 400 languages yeah. just for India alone, before Muhammad. So after Muhammad, there was many languages. Okay, but that would make it even more complicated if there's many languages, because Arabic is a very tough language, very hard, not like English is easier to learn. People even, even know how to pronounce those letters, we, because we have letters that exist in different languages. Same time, the Quran says, so they might, mm -hmm. so we might make it clear for them. So the Quran says, the reason we give it in the language of the people to make it clear. So did Allah decide not to make it clear no more? How somebody from India, he, he's going to understand the verse in Arabic, he doesn't speak Arabic. And you just said to me that the, the scholars themselves do not know how to, they can't understand it. We just learned this Quran by by heart and uh, the, being taught, uh, you know, don't uh, go deep, don't question, you know. Yeah, you know, uh, chapter, just, uh, chapter just five. Use. Chapter Read five, it, verse five, yeah. Chapter five, verse one hundred one says, "Ask no questions." Verse number one hundred two, it says, "If because people of former generation before you, they ask the same questions, and they lost their faith, so Islam cannot stand the question. That's why in Islam, the only way to 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 keep the religion is to forbid the questions. The second you start asking questions, the second Islam is gone. Bye bye. You know, oh, you believe? Ask not questions." You can ask they questions beyond your understanding. You, you, you can no. ask questions as long as they are silly. Like, can I sh shave under arm? That is a question for them. It's okay. Uh, is it okay if I, you know, uh, uh, how to wash my etc. before a prayer or after a prayer? Is it okay to uh, eat ice cream with my uh, wife? Otherwise, she might be picking my sister. Silly questions. The second you ask question, it's serious questions. Like, how Allah look like? You cannot ask questions. Allah sit in the chair. How is in the chair? You cannot ask questions. Allah have a shin. Why have a shin? What is made from? You cannot ask questions. Allah have a hands. Why have hands? You cannot ask questions. So the second you start questioning, you are going to die. As long you are asking, not questioning, which means you ask questions, which is anything, have meaningless. You know, it's okay. The second you question the religion, you are dead. I see. Yeah, but but the, the, uh, as you know, our uh, uh, our uh, government is not the uh, you know the uh, Islamic, the secular. I know, but so in the, we but, have but in the atheists, time, we have uh, uh, I know uh, all kind of religions, and we've been taught always, you know, the don't hate any, each other, love your uh, uh, you know Christian friends, Jewish friends. Because we have a, a lot of, I, I have my, uh, uh, you know, neighbor is Jew, neighbor is a, a Russian Christian, you know. Uh, then we are together, all, all peace in, in peace, and That's never uh, we. Yeah, because they did not open. To maybe, be honest, I yeah, never. Because yeah. because the Saudi, they did not start opening the terrorist schools in your country because of the Soviet Union at that time. But maybe soon they will be there. Yeah. But if you go in the Quran, chapter five, verse fifty-one, it says, "Take not Christians and Jews as a friends." 
as simple as that. You have them as I a friend. I found out recently from your videos that that's the meaning. Yeah, I mean, it's in front of you. I'm, I'm, I'm not making things up, and they can read the interpretation, Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtabi, Al Tabari, whatever you want. All of them, they agree that you cannot do that. So, my friend, as long you are from you are from Bukhara city, and uh, yeah. obviously you you suspect now Islam. What do you think? Shouldn't you leave Islam after all what you because you are watching my videos, you are learning. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, but I don't know yet. Uh, I cannot uh, do a conclusion now. You know, so, uh, no, you have a conclusion I'm, already. Already, I mean, to be honest, to be, to be honest, I'm a, at the at the corner, I guess. Hmm. So, but you I know, don't know. But you see, already, I, already, I, already I was, you suspect. Already, I was you suspect. Born as a Muslim. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Your family all are Muslims. Of, okay. All, all my life, I'm 43 years old now, and uh, almost 42 years I was, you know, worshiping my God. Uh, I, I will, you know, I was, you know, uh, I was sure that the, the this is the, you know, uh, right way to follow. Uh, and I don't know now. I'm so confused. Mm, my friend, so you should not be confused because cannot, because you are you, you said you watch many of my videos, and as you see, always I pause the reference, I show the mistakes, I show the errors. The Quran itself says. Uh, 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 why they cannot, uh, you know, uh, like comprehend the Quran? Why they cannot deal with it? If this is from other than Allah, is going to have a lot of contradiction, correct? Yes. Okay. So how many how many videos you see made by me? I think I showing yeah, the errors well, in the Quran. I can show you in this right now as we speak, if you want. So when the Quran says. If this is a book from other than God, which means the same in this case is Allah, the name of the God of Islam, then you will find a lot of contradiction. Wonderful. All the Quran is a contradiction. So the Quran itself saying to you, you should not believe in me. You are saying you are confused. I said I, I say to you, you should not be confused. You should decide to leave Islam right now because the Quran telling you if you should leave Islam or not. If this is a book full of stupid errors and mistakes and contradiction, you leave it. Yeah. So you I should, don't know. No. no, you should know. You should denounce Islam right now. If I am you, I will denounce it. I mean, this is a this is a cult. It's a, the Quran says to you if you find dummy stuff, stupid stuff in this book. Obviously, it's not from Allah. The Quran saying that. The Quran advising you <laughs> that if you find stupid things in this book, you should not believe in it. It's not from Allah. And this book is the book of stupidity. So why you want to say I'm a Muslim? It's it's an insult to you to say I'm a Muslim now because you, you discovered the truth already, you know. The, the funny thing is, you know, our scholars say some scholars say uh, you if i'm not praying five times they say hey, it is okay sometimes uh, you know you you can be stay muslim but you doing you know the the, the gunah or how it's called in no. sin you know that then you you go to pray and uh, allah will forgive you it is okay you know uh. the, uh, i mean we're not following fully like your your arabs follow to uh, Islam like you know uh, seeking for wise you know the 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 uh, strictly uh, praying five times a day and uh, you know we have that strict uh, part of community but most of the them we we call ourselves Muslims but we don't actually follow Fully, hundred percent. I understand. You know, I understand. They think, is it okay? But, it's okay. But just you to know? show you, just to show you, they, just, did, they, did, they did lie to you. It's, it's yeah, okay. yeah. They just lie to uh -huh. you. They said to you, if you if you don't pray, it's okay. Still, you're a Muslim. But look what your prophet he said. Read carefully, and this is Sahih. All right, this is Sahih. It says, narrated okay. on on Jabir, an authority of Jabir, that he heard the apostle, the prophet, saying, the verily between the man. 
between man and between polytheism and unbelief is neglect, neglect of the prayer. You see it? So if you don't pray, if you don't pray, what is between you and them is the prayer. If you don't pray, you are one of them. You are a person who don't believe. This Muhammad saying that. So why they say to you, it's okay? Since when? No. This is the only difference between you and somebody is a, is is not a Muslim. Is you pray to Allah, and if you don't pray to Allah, you are you are one of them. So when they say to you it's okay, they are lying to you. I mean, who who is telling the truth, them or or Muhammad? It should be Muhammad. Okay. Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. So if he is the prophet, obviously he knew better. So the one who he is not doing a prayer. Obviously, according to Muhammad, he is not a believer. He is not a Muslim. So you are not you are not praying no more now. You know, I to be honest, no, <laughs> now. Okay, not praying. So according to the hate in front of me, already you left Islam. I guess so. All right. So I'm happy for you that you left Islam, my friend. I'm so happy that you called me. Good for you. I'm happy for you. So. Uh, you know what I can you know what I can say I'm so happy that somebody coming from I mean calling me from Bukhara the the the, the, the land of Al Imam al-Bukhari and he is saying yeah. I am out of Islam and I don't want Islam no more that's wonderful but now I want to invite you to believe in Jesus what do you think as long as you decide to leave Islam no, 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 thanks. <laughs> why no, no, for, thanks? Why, for, why for not? now, uh, no, no. I, I'm so confused. I have to uh, study, research it. You know, I, I haven't gone to uh, Bible yet. No problem. So I'm what, not, do, I'm not what do you to recommend you, to my, my read? Friend, there are my friend, my friend, my friend. a lot of books. Yeah, I'm not saying to you, okay, because I want you to know first about Jesus. That's why I'm saying to you, what do you think about believing in Jesus? So if you have a questions, I can help you. I can answer you. But you don't have to say I'm a, I'm a believer. No, I mean, no, this is not the, this is not, I'm not saying that to you. I'm saying as long as you agree that Muhammad is a false prophet, Quran is a false book, Allah is a false God, then who is the true God? What do you think? You don't want to be an atheist, right? You, 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 as long as the, I don't know, as, as long as the, the, the Muhammad is not a prophet, Allah is not a God, I don't know, maybe. There is no God. Oh, so you want to be an, you want to be an atheist? Then? I don't know. I'm a, you know, I, I'm not I, I'm not uh, atheist. I'm I'm just you know being agnostic. I, mean, I, I understand. I understand. Okay, I, I have an advice for you. You can get the the book of John, the Bible. In the, you know, when we say the book of John, doesn't mean that this is the book of John. This is still the book of God, written by the disciple of Christ. His name is John. So. Read the book of John. Disciple means companion, right? Disciple means companion Followers, and, the, right? and the one who he sent, you know, not only like people, because Jesus, he knew many people, people accompany him. It's not necessarily companion. Muhammad, they have uh -huh. a lot of companion, right? Jesus, when he entered Jerusalem, thousands of yeah. people waiting for him. So can we say they are companion? No. Uh, but there's disciples who Jesus, he sent to teach and preach the gospel around the world. And those are the one who they are they carry on the message to the all mankind, including you and me. And you know, in the front of a Christ, you are from Bukhara, maybe you look Asian, it doesn't matter. Still, you yeah. are a child of God in Christianity and Christ, he love you. You know, Muhammad, he made fun of the Asian, as uh, you know, if, if you know, you know. Uh, Muhammad, he spoke about how they look like. He, he they were Turks? He, the Turkish, specifically the, the Turk, actually, specifically the Turk. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard. Yeah, if you have my book, actually, you will see in my book where it says, you know, he described how they look like, and he he said to them things which is disgusting. Obviously, is a racist man. Uh, let us see. He uh, said there, there. Our school says about this hadith. Mm -hmm. You know what what they say? Yeah. How. Uh, how in the world the Muhammad knew about uh, Turks and Mongols invasion to uh, half of the world? No slavery. No, there is a slave. The, no, my friend. His, 
Yeah. His prophecy, you know. Yeah, I know. There's a slaves from around the world, my friend. There's a slaves. How he knew about the black? How he knew about the Roman? Slaves. Slavery. Salman mm -hmm. al-Farisi is coming from where? <laughs> His name is Salman al-Farisi. He's coming from where? From Persia, right? But, yeah. Okay, so Salman al-Farisi is almost, in, in actually, in certain time, Bukhara was part of the empire of the Persian. Correct? Yes. Okay, so yes, he's coming correct. from there. So already, Muhammad himself, he have a slave coming from there. We do not know how Salman al-Farisi looked like. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe he looked like, mm -hmm. maybe he looked Asian. We don't know how, how he looked like. So when they, when they, when they say how he knew, that's a, this is a joke, you know. Uh, at the same time, if he, if he do not know how they look like, uh, why is he making fun of their look anyway? Look what he said. This is Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. This is Al Bukhari saying that, not Christian Prince. I heard Allah Messenger saying. Near the hour, you will fight with the people who will wear hairy shoes, and you also uh, 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 fight people with the flat faces like shield. Okay, but he said this is will happen in the judgment day. So the Muslim they will fight the Turkish in the judgment day. <laughs> in different hadith, Muhammad he said the following. Read carefully. The Prophet said. The, the hour will be established till you fight the people wearing uh, uh, shoes made of hair and, and the hour will not be established till you fight with people who their faces look shield coated with leather. Abu Huraira added, but small eyes, mm -hmm. flat noses, and their faces look like a shield coated by leather. And then we continue. Like until now, it doesn't say the word Turkish. We will show you the word Turkish. You know, in the so all the, uh, this 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 uh, this hadith actually proving Muhammad is a false prophet, because he claimed that he will fight the the Turkish in the hour of the judgment day, almost before the judgment day. But already the Turkish are Muslims. You know what I mean? Yeah, Turkic people become become a Muslim. Also. Okay, so Muhammad is a false prophet. He is saying that, uh, he said, don't fight the Turkish as long, they, uh, you know, uh, uh, leave the Turk as long they left you. Don't fight the Turkish as long they don't fight you. That's what he said. <clears throat> you know? But in a, after uh, after uh, 600 years or something, uh, 700 years, Mongolians, he, Invaded to the Central Asia, exactly. to the exactly. uh, uh, and then, Europe, and, and then and then uh, when when they invaded those areas and they occupied Baghdad, then they told the the Mongolian yeah. king, if you became a Muslim, those people will not make revolution against you. Those people don't care for Islam, don't care for religion. They care for power, slavery, money, and he converted to Islam because it's fit his propaganda. He want to conquer. So okay, I will be. I will, I will say shahada. I say shahada, and that's it. They became Muslim. Look what he said here, narrated by Abu uh, Sukaina. He said one of the companions, the Prophet said, "Let the uh, uh, leave the Abyssinians alone as long they let you alone, and leave let the Turk alone as they let you alone." Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there is tons of hadith, and he's making fun of their look. You know, their 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 face is like. Uh, hit by a hammer i mean what is that yeah that's the that's not good you know? to say yeah he's making fun of, he's, he's making fun of the asian people look regardless what what you want to say this is racism this is racism exactly you know a person he, you know a person who claimed to be a, he's a messenger for all mankind right okay so why you want to make fun of them why you are making fun of them aren't, aren't they created by um, god he, he Either this hadith is not, you know. Uh, no, it's sahih. You know, we cannot say it's, it's not. not it's not. Uh, my friend, it is. It's this not is true. Do you see it says sahih? Do you see it says sahih? All of them it says sahih. I'm not showing you something uh, weak. Sahih. This is even sahih Bukhari. This yeah, one is sahih be. Bukhari. Okay. So what? Uh, what is not? You know. Yeah. It is sahih. They, they, you know, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot say such a thing. Uh, let me show you the hadith about the Turk. The Turk, because I, I want to find the hadith which it says the word Turkish. Mm -hmm. Literally, that you will fight them and you describe their faces. Here we go. Uh, uh, probably, 
read with me. Does it Probably say Turks, not Turk, Turkish, right? The Turk, the Turk, yeah. Do you see the word Sahih? Yeah. Do you see the word? Yes. Okay, it's Sahih. So it says it was narrated by Abu Huraira that the message of Allah uh, uh, said the hour will not begin until the Muslim fight the Turks. A people with face like hammered shield who wear clothes made of hair and shoes made of hair. This is number one. It's a, no. false, it's, a it's a false prophecy because if the judgment day, if this is a sign of the judgment day, that's mean judgment day should happen 600 years ago or, or, or 800 years ago, you know, not now. And the Turkish are already Muslims. Muhammad, they consider them they're, you're the enemy of the Muslims. No. Even Muhammad actually he claimed, which is very funny, that uh, the, the, the Roman, the Roman, they will be the majority of mankind. <laughs> what? The Roman, they will be the majority of mankind. Uh. He predict, he, he, this, all, this is always a prophecy, mm. that the Roman, they will be the, the major population of mankind. The Roman Empire is does not exist no more. Eh? They are, yeah, there is, there is Italy. I mean, this is what is left of Roma, but now it's a small country. I mean, it's not like, uh, what majority, you know I mean? Yeah. Christianity, if, if this is the, if they are saying Christianity, Christianity is not the Roman. That's false, you know? That's not, not true. Uh, but funny thing is, the you are, uh, hadiths you are giving to me, the, the, they don't exist in a Russian language, in a, uh, our Uzbek, yeah, because people, Turkic language. Because, they, because, they, uh, simply they, they don't translate. Yeah, because if, if they translate them, you will leave. You know, making fun of you. Yeah. You will leave. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if, uh, this is why they hide them. They, you will not find them. And now, you know, uh, people... And who, they say don't... And they say... Uh, sorry, interrupt you. Uh, it's all right. They say don't don't read any uh, Bibles, any Jews uh, uh, books. You know they all corrupted. Uh -huh. uh, they written all uh, written by men. Uh, uh, there are a lot of different views, but only Quran. Uh, uh, even one letter uh, haven't been changed since uh, revealed to Muhammad. Oh, that's the, you know, my friend. There is a, after there's, there's, uh, after watching your video, I I just you know <laughs> was you know, very shocked that uh, even if we don't have real Quran, actually, apparently, yeah, right now. Uh, you see, when they say to you the Quran is preserved, we love, you know. Uh, like Al Imam, there's a book for Al Imam Al Suyuti. I don't know if you know him, and he is from the Shafi'i sect. He's a Muslim Sunni from the Shafi'i. So if you go and read, uh, uh, let us see, if you read his books, one of his books he speak about uh, the corruption of the Quran, and this is a Sunni. This is not a Shia. You know, we cannot say like okay, it's a Shia saying that. So uh, Al Suyuti, he have. 57 report in his books about the change and the corruption of the Quran. As an example, a Suyuti here reported that the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be 200 verses. 200 verses. And when it's Uthman, almost Baqarah, right? Uh, uh, it, yeah, it's almost like Al-Baqarah, all right? But what I'll, I'll, if, if we go right now to Al Ahzab, let us see. I will check Al Ahzab for you in front of your eyes and let us see how many. This is Al Ahzab chapter 33. Let us see how many verses are. We will go all the way to the end. It is 73 verses. 73 mm -hmm. verses. So, how many verses are missing in one chapter? More than 100. More than a hundred for sure, and a hundred, almost a hundred, uh, 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 thirty something, because the the, the Baqarah uh, is I forgot uh, two two fifty, 
Let us see if we go Al Baqarah. You know, yeah, there's a huge difference between 73 and Al Baqarah. Al Baqarah is, I think, 256. Uh, 286. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah. Let us go to the end. Yeah. Okay. So if we if we take 73 out of uh, 286, <laughs> this is what is missing. <laughs> and this yeah, is and this wonderful. is and this is where in in your book i mean sorry before you left islam now this is in their book this is a, this is a suyuti imam a suyuti this is not a, a youtuber boy coming to make a statement you know he can say well this is a scholar this is somebody or is he a modern scholar a suyuti is a big scholar this guy have he's a genius actually modern i mean new uh, a Suyuti, a Suyuti is not considered as a modern, but we can say he is not the same from the old, you know. But he is a big genius guy who study made a lot of books, you know. Uh, and no Muslims, Suyuti, right? yeah, a Suyuti. So a no Muslim, no Muslim can say a Suyuti is not a Muslim or a Suyuti is a liar. And this is here the reference, mm -hmm. you know. And actually, the Shia, the Shia, they use the reference of the Sunni, which is funny. The Shia, they use the reference of the Sunni mm -hmm. because the Shia and the Sunni, they debate. The Shia, they believe the Quran is corrupted. But when you speak to a, a Shia in a, in a debate, they use taqiyya, they use protection. Inside the mosque, they say it's corrupted. They say the true Quran is the book which is with Fatima. But if you go, if you go as an example to the book of Shia, as an example, this is a Shaykh al uh, Ali al-Qurani, very number one, page number 392. He is quoting a Suyuti, to prove the corruption, he said, uh, Suyuti, the Suyuti said in the book of Adur al Manthur, this is the name of the book, very number five, page number 180. He said that Omar al Khattab, he said, How many verses you count the chapter of Al Ahzab? He said, uh, 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 72 or 73. He said, Omar, Omar saying, this is Omar saying, not a Suyuti, Omar saying. It was equal or almost equal to Al Baqarah. Mm. You know? So, what is missing? We can, right now, we can translate to English so people can see that this is not my translation. Here we go. Uh, As Suyuti said in the book of Al Adur al Manthur, volume number five, page 180, he said uh, that from etc. Omar, he said to me, uh, how many the chapter of Al Ahzab parties mean Al Ahzab? I said it's about uh, 72 73. He said it was almost equal to the chapter of Al Baqarah. You know, the translation yeah. is not too much accurate. So it was equal to Al Baqarah, and even Aisha narrated Akrama said Surah Al Ahzab was like Surah Al Baqarah or longer. Do you see it? <laughs> Or even longer. So what happened? <laughs> so this is just one one place, you know, about the corruption of the Quran. So a a Suyuti he listed more than 57, 57 location where the Quran changed. Anyway, my friend, I'm so happy that you uh, you call me, and in the future, if you like, if you if you like to know about the Bible, you wanna you know you wanna, because I will be happy. Uh, to to see you accepting Christ as Savior, but I cannot say to you uh, uh, to do so unless you are ready and unless you believe from your heart. So I advise you to read the Bible, yeah. read the Book of John. Feel free to contact me. You okay. can call me as you call me today, and I will be happy to hear from you. And I'm happy for you that you decide today. You decide to leave Islam, especially you are. This is the first time a person he called me from the from Bukhara, the the, the city of Bukhari. So that's wonderful. You know? Yeah, we, yeah, because we don't speak, uh, you know, Arabic, uh, you know, English. More, more people speak Russian, Turkic people, uh, and uh, Persian. So that's the uh, that's the difference. You know, we cannot reach the uh, truth. Yeah. Well, so, here, here so we are sharing the that's, truth. That's, I ask you please to invite your friends from your city to join us in YouTube and they can call me too. And if there is a scholars in your city, okay. I, I beg you actually to, to tell the scholars why you don't call this guy. Why you don't call him, refute is, him. Is that, is, is that possible to, uh, to talk with, with them because they, 
they don't speak English. They but they speak Arabic. Uh, they speak maybe Arabic. Maybe I can translate. They speak Arabic. Yeah. Okay, no Arabic. problem. We yeah, can talk in Arabic. They, they we speak. can talk in Arabic, and you translate. No problem. I, I will try to ask them to refute you if they are willing. I yeah. will call you and uh, you know. Yeah, well, I will be happy. I will, debate, I, will, I, will, I will be happy, my friend, if they dare to do so. And uh, uh, I, I encourage you actually to do it because this way you will know if they are really a believers or they are just doing business. If they are a true believers, they will stand to defend Islam, right? And they will be happy yes. to show people that this guy is not telling the truth. This guy, he lied to you. He's not, you know, he's not sharing the truth with you. So they should be excited to debate me so they can save Muslims from leaving Islam. But if they make excuses, any kind of excuses, obviously they are trying to run away. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, my friend, for calling. God bless you, and we pray for Thank you. you. Thank we, you. We pray for you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. We pray for you to see the truth, and the truth will set you free. And I pray you will call me soon, and you will ask me questions about the Bible, and I will be happy to help you. And I pray that the Lord will open your heart, bless you, bless your family, plus your town, even they are Muslims, we pray for them. We love the Muslims. Jesus, he loved all mankind. Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. So my friend, Jesus, he come to you before he come to me, because already I'm a believer. So Jesus, he want you because he believe you need him, not me. I need him, yes, as Lord, but already I believe I'm saved because I believe in him, but you need him. And Jesus is there for you. He said, knock and I will open for you. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the truth. I am the life. I am the resurrection. Come to me and I will comfort you. So I want you, if you don't mind, before you start reading the book of John, say, Lord, I'm knocking at your door. I open my heart for you. Guide me. We do not need to recite certain verses like the Muslims. We do not need to repeat things we don't understand. Speak from your heart. The Lord, the true Lord, He speaks all languages. You do not need to speak Hebrew. You do not need to speak Arabic. You do not need to speak English. Speak your language. Even if you are a mute, a person who cannot even speak, the Lord, He can hear you. For this is the Lord, the true Lord. In His name we pray, and I hope soon you will, will accept Him. Okay. Thank you for time. Thank for you. Time. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Thanks. Okay, bye. bye. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? Who is next to when I leave Islam? You know, the Lord who bless us almost every day. We have one or two leaving Islam. What do you want more? I mean, it's amazing blessing and we are receiving. You see, this is the benefit. I want to say thank you for those who translated my book to the Russian language. Now, people in Bukhara, they have the book in Russian language. Which means, Yes, I am the one who wrote the book, but if you did not translate, this person will not know the truth. This is why we encourage all of you to help us in the translation. And as you see, we are giving the books for free for all those countries where they can afford. You know, the uh, if we sell books, it's just to support what we do. This is why we give it, we have already, I think, six or seven languages for free. And all of them, they are major population, like Indonesia, the biggest Islamic country, for free. With the Russian, Albanian, Bosnian, uh, I mean, you name it. So, I hope soon we will have a translation in Chinese. I mean, I'm really, I want the Chinese translation. I want more than 1.3, 1.4 billion to read how stupid Islam is and I promise I will give my book in Chinese for free too even though Chinese by the way they are not poor no more I mean Chinese these days is different right still we will give it for free
because as long the Lord he provide me with my needs what I need more right the Lord is giving us people who they are helping supporting so we give it for free do we have any Muslim well, in India, it's not an issue because most of Indian they speak very good English. You know, in, in Indian, in, in in India, as I know, that the system based on English language, like in schools, university. So most of people they speak English already. So like that save us from translating to the Indian language. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, no, thank you for not commenting about the color. What do you mean? What is that? Speak English to me. Uh, we have Asif is upset. Arab voice heavy. Make me scare. Hmm. Uh, Any Muslim? Anyone? Nobody? All right. Well, as you see, we open our program and we make a topic and we challenge Muslim to show us how Muhammad, how the Quran is a book of science. Nobody dare to do so. How Muhammad is a prophet? Nobody dare to do so because simply they cannot do it. Trust me, if you are a person who is who have a blue eyes, you don't speak English, simply you are not me. They will be lining up to debate you. They will be fighting over debating you. As you see those Muslims, they go in the street and supposedly they are debating a Christian. They say, uh, uh, Sheikh, whatever his name, debating a Protestant. Like they, even they knew what it is. And suddenly this is a debate. A debate, my friend. A debate, if you want a debate, we are here for it. Where are you? Where is those who claim to have knowledge? Right? Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan? So we have almost a thousand people, not even one Muhammad I want to call. All right. Well, I want to say, guys, maybe that's enough for today. It's already middle of the night. I hope we had a good time together. Uh, I hope, you know, we will have more callers in the, in, in the coming days. More Muslims, they will be willing to challenge us. And they are men, not kids, you know, calling just to bother. Uh, and I encourage you if you are a Muslim and you do not know how to answer me I encourage you to do the following call your Imam in the mosque and say to him how come you are not here to refute this guy and don't worry about who call who I will call him he can make a pal talk give me his name I will call him it's not important who call who it's important who can answer who I will call him Maybe he is a majesty person. Maybe he's a big deal. Maybe he think he is maybe coming from the sky. I'm a person. I'm no one. Nobody. I don't claim title. I don't want it. I'm not a sheikh. I'm not a priest. I'm not a bishop. Still, you cannot debate me. Still, you cannot refute me. Still, you cannot stop me from making Muslims leave Islam. All those who seek titles, they are titles seekers, not seeking God. And this is what I see. All the Muslims are seeking titles. Nobody, none of them is seeking God. Anyone, 
any Muslim right now before we finish for today is willing to call me right oh Deen al Haq he left Islam look at this this is Deen al Haq he used to make call me names what happened Deen al Haq guys did you see what Deen al Haq he said this guy he was just just they calling me names every day actually every day he come and he insult me what happened did you hack what happened do you like to call me and tell me how i showed you islam is false Let it, let it take, take a, a better selfie of Dean al -Hak. Here we go. This is a better one, more clear. What happened to Dean al -Hak? So all this time you come here, Christian Prince is not telling the truth. You are wherever, lying, etc. And now you are not a Muslim no more. What happened? Oh, black screen, you don't see it? Okay, hold on. Here we go. Anyway, you saw it in the chat, it's there. That's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Um, he is lying. I mean, he is insulting Islam. Why, why he want to be lying? And how he can be lying to that, you know? Like origin of hijab or Muhammad not earning his home verse. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, anyway, we got you know we can, we don't know what who, who who's talking in the chat anyway. I mean, people they can be real, people they can be fake. But uh, what I know, this guy he kept keep coming every day, and he keep insulting me, calling me names, and he give me silly questions and sometimes silly answers. But and maybe maybe he is not uh, the person. Maybe he is using somebody using his name. We don't know. Anyway, we never heard his voice. We don't know if this is the person or not. Uh. I eat not what you eat, and you eat not what I eat, and I will not do eat what you eat because you will not eat what I eat, and I will never eat what you eat, and because you don't eat what I eat, for I don't eat what you eat, I will never eat what you eat, for you have your food, I have mine. Praise be to Allah. <laughs> With this, I say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Islam is silly, made by a silly man for silly mind people. God is not a pimp. His job is to provide you women. God is not a pimp to open a pimp house where people do their nothing except sex and eating. That is an insult to God. Even when God, he created women and man, he created the women to be a wife for the man. And the purpose is to have a family, not the purpose they can have sex on a stop. And one woman, not hundreds, that is an insult to God. Women are not made for sex. This is not the purpose of their existence. Because if this is the, the, the purpose of the existence of the women, that means man himself is exist for sex only too. That will make you an animal. Animals, they just eat and have sex. When you go to heaven, when you go to the place where God, he opened it for you in his presence, he will be holy like your father. And your father is not a pimp. Happiness, which God can give, have nothing to do with the sandwich you eat and a woman you sleep with. This is all is temporarily. And actually, all of us, we knew. I mean, what kind of a prophet? He come to my door, says, if you believe in me, my God will give you a lot of women. Isn't it obvious that he is satanic? What kind of a prophet he promised me? If you believe in my God, my God will give you the power of 100 men for sex. Isn't it obvious that this is Satan? This is what God is about. 100 power for sex. 
What about 101? What about 200? Why we stop with 100? As long as there's 100, obviously there's more power. <laughs> How silly. How stupid. So, God in Islam is an insult to the world God. Islam is an insult to any God, even if he is false. Islam is an insult to humanity because make the women a sexual object. Promote sexual relationship with the children and violence and don't want people to live in peace. Yet the Muslim, they say to us, Islam means peace. What the Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. And what will happen if they take me as a friend? You are out of Islam. Chapter 5, verse 51. And many other verses. So, we pray that more and more Muslims will come and see the truth, and the truth will set them free. We pray that our Lord, He will guide them. For time will come, and the King of Kings will come over the cloud, and his angels will be with him. And at that time, it's not time to believe no more. It is time for justice. You do what you do. You can do it now. But time will come, and every one of us will be taken accountable for what he did. Think about it. Maybe it is not true. If you are an atheist, maybe you are laughing at what I'm saying. Maybe you are a person who believe in the Big Bang. But me, myself, I laugh at the Big Bang. Atheists, they say, we believe by unknown God. I say, you believe by unknown theory. It's called Big Bang. They fool you. Our God is known. He was between us, and He is between us. He said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between you. That is our Lord. Have a blessed Sunday. Already Sunday started, and we pray for all mankind to see the truth. We pray for the health of everybody, Hindus, Buddhas, Muslims, Christians, atheists. We pray that the earth will have more peace, and we pray that the Lord will present between us so we can earn more love, for this is what is missing in this earth. Hatred is the coin of the world today. Scam is a business. Fraud is an honor. Rape is a joy, as some they claim. Everything is upside down. Not long time ago, people, they used to make movies that the good guy go after criminals. These days, because the world corrupt, in less than 60 years, the movie industry switched upside down. The good guys are the winners and the police, they die. There was time where a cowboy, he stand to defend the poor or the weak. And then later we find that they are making movies that a bunch of thieves, they go inside a bank and they steal the money and then they go driving a car with nice girls, encouraging your children to do it, trying to poison their brain. We are in a time where people, they speak about drugs as something fun. When all of us renew that drugs destroy your health. We are in a time where they are making it legal. We are in a time where everything is upside down, not only Islam. But I believe still Islam is the biggest drugs in the history of mankind. And we fight drugs and whoever spread it. Thank you very much. What is the problem 
for the believer to accept the Big Bang. <laughs> How you can accept the Big Bang? First of all, the Big Bang says that there was something ex explode. How you say there was nothing, and then you say something explode? I mean, even the theory is silly. Like, just think about it in a simple way. There was nothing, no universe, and then a power explode. Okay, what is it? How you said there was nothing, <laughs> and then something explode? <laughs> So my friend, I mean, human is a human is like a child. Human is like a child. He is so silly. Sometimes he decides to delete his IQ. Even they call themselves scientists. And it's a theory. There's no proof of it. A guy, he said something, we follow it. That's it. Blindly. What Big Bang? I mean, there is some of them, those atheists, they say to you, there's no proof that Jesus was exist just because it was 2,000 years ago. But yet, Big Bang, which happens supposedly God knows how many millions or trillions of years, it's okay. They believe in it. <laughs> so, my friend, I mean, I mean, it's, uh, I, I, find, I find them silly. You know, I find them silly. And the way they discuss things, the atheists, I find it silly too. Like, uh, an atheist will ask me, do you like banana? I say, yes, you see, see, Darwin was right. You were monkey. This is your logic. The logic of somebody when I prove to me that God does not exist. I mean, you are stupid. How you can prove something not exist to be not exist? You know what I mean? How you can prove to me that if you don't believe in God, that doesn't matter his, uh, what his name, you know? I will prove to you that, that Mr. Not Exist is not exist. Interesting. Okay. You got a point there. I mean, you must be thinking about it for a long time. Right? Yeah, so I, I mean, sometimes I question the intelligence before the before the the, 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 the question itself. I mean, the, the, the question itself is silly, it's stupid. You know? Once an atheist, he said to me, okay, why Jesus did not grow to somebody his arm? His arm is cut off, but nobody came in the book. It says his arm cut off. Those were the people that came to him. Why he did not grow an arm? <laughs> so... Uh, and you know, like uh, I know, like it's 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 very funny. It's very silly. And sometimes people they are like kids, and they don't want to, uh, let us say, uh, they don't want to grow up. It's fun to be a kid. Sometimes you know, all of us we have a kid inside us. You know. Yeah. And by the way, even atheists they practice Christianity without even knowing. If you ask, once I was debating an atheist, I said, "Are you going to sleep with your sister?" He said, "No way." So, mm -hmm. Aren't you an atheist? Where, where from from which uh, ethic you learn that you should not have sex with your mother or your daughter? Is that eth is that the ethic of atheist? If there's a book it says this is not ethical. So they claim to be not believing in God and they don't want to be Christians. But when it's come to something real, they follow Christianity. You know what I mean? The second you come to something sensitive, they are Christians, even though they are atheist. They are atheist. Otherwise, where is where is the word ethic is coming from? From which book? Because an atheist, everybody should have his own ethic, right? We don't. You don't have God, so you know you do what you believe. So if one of you believe you should not do that, you should explain to me why. You know, your mother she is a female, your sister she is a female, your daughter is a female. So as long as you believe that you are an animal who live in this earth, and all those are open for you, you have no law to follow. You don't believe in such a thing. So you live live like an animal then. While you are taking our value. So we can agree that all the moral of the atheist is driven from a belief system, which is 
you can call it religion yet they claim that they are they don't follow any religion but the fact they do okay anyway <clears throat> i don't debate atheists because it's a waste of time and there's no point they have no books what we'll debate about science i'm not a scientist and even their scientists they cannot prove anything there is scientists who they are christians and there is scientists who they are atheists the scientists believe that God created and they are high scientists. Like, you know, they cannot say that all the scientists are atheists, right? So there's a huge number of scientists who they are Christians and big believers. What we would do with those? We would go, they are scientists. They are not only, they accept science, they, 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 they are scientists. Yet they believe in God. So obviously atheism failed to make every scientist atheist for obviously science and atheism is not working together. Otherwise, then we will find all scientists atheist. Do we agree? If atheism is convincing using science, then why a huge number of scientists are Christians? What happened? Obviously, science could not make them disbelieve. Anyway, just use, you know, just use little logic you have, you know, God, he gave you, all of us, God, he gave us a gift. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, and use it. Just use it. I mean, all of us, God, he gave us a gift. It's called a brain. But some of us, we decide to put trust in it, you know, we don't want to use it. And we want people to uh, not to use it. Are you flying in circle because I keep saying the same cloud? Of, of, of from? My friend, it's not the same cloud. Is it the same cloud? Prove it. <laughs> It's the same cloud. Okay, I will show you sky. Is it the same? Is, is it the same star? <laughs> My friend, what about we change the sun for you? Because we see it every day. I mean, since we are born until we die, we see the same sun. We should change it too. I mean, he got bored right away. <laughs> People are funny. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. And we are happy for our friend from Bukhara, the city of Al Imam Al Bukhari, the one who wrote those books. He is out of Islam, and I hope more from that city will contact us, and they will leave Islam too. And I will see you soon again. I say may the Lord bless you. Pray for all mankind. Pray for Muslims. Pray for everybody, Christians. And actually, I pray for Muslims who, I heard that there's an airplane in Indonesia. I think most of them, they are Muslims. We pray for the, the, the family of those people, uh, that God will help them through their pain. Uh, uh, I saw many women, they are wearing hijab, they are crying, I feel sorry for them. Uh, we pray that maybe maybe the Lord, you know, can save some of them, we don't know what happened. Uh, we hope, you know, they can rescue them, maybe, you never know. Uh, always have hope in the Lord, and always be ready. Here we go, people, they fly, going somewhere to visit their friends, their family, and then they, are, they, they never landed alive. So this is how life can be short. Don't take life for granted. It can be taken away from you as simple as it's given to you. Very easy. So think about it. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.